Over at Goodwill Industries, 72nd and Ames, there are a group of students learning the construction trades. They are busy building a small solar-powered home. The home is being constructed with the help of students from Goodwill's Youth Build program. As John Chapman reports, the program provides hands-on training for students who are looking for a future in the trades. The students in this class are learning skills that can be used in the future. Ryan Price is one of the students in Goodwill's Youth Build program. Ryan is getting hands-on training, hoping the skills he learns here will help him in the future. To get like a good hands-on skills and stuff like that, like when it comes down to like, uh, like construction-wise, because like there's a lot of construction jobs out in the field that you know that need like more people and stuff like that. So I say it's a good program to like get your foot in the door. Ryan gets to train with people who are in the business right now. Jerry Ram is a home builder. Jerry says right now there are a lot of opportunities in the trades. The construction industry needs workers in all fields right now. We've got, we're, we've got a shortage of workers, and it's something that more and more kids, more and more people that need to come in, would uh, we, we need everybody we can get. Working together with Builders of the Future, Goodwill is helping those students who don't plan on going to college find a career path. Organizers believe there should be more hands-on training in our schools. I think that it's one of the missing ingredients today in uh, the educational society is that shop class has kind of yeah. gone by the wayside. And a lot of the kids don't understand the importance, nor do they understand the revenue potential. Goodwill's Youth Build program is building a way for Ryan and other students in the program to build a better future by showing them a way to build a career. With photographer Adam Preister, John Chapman. WOWT 6 News. Well, the solar home the students are help putting together will be donated to the Children's Museum. The museum will then auction it off at its annual fundraising event.